Okay, this is Amy 2006 to number 15. Given that x, y, and z are real numbers that satisfy these three equations, find x plus y plus z. So, this appears to be an algebra problem, but if you try any sort of substitution or elimination or squaring any of these equations, things don't work out very well. There's just too many square roots and algebraically this is just a mess. So it's time to try a different approach because this is the Amy, this is a last five problem, so it's going to require some clever solution to solve. So first thing I noticed, 16, 25, and 36, those are all perfect squares. and Moreover, we have a square root of the difference of two squares. That tends to remind me of Pythagorean theorem. So I'm gonna draw a right triangle, and if I let the hypotenuse be y, and one of the legs be a quarter, then the third side is exactly that term in the first equation, root y squared minus 1 16th. And actually the second term is just like that, except the hypotenuse is z. So z quarter z squared minus 1 over 16. And actually the equation says if you add these two sides you get x. So the heights are the same, why don't we just combine these two triangles? Like so. There we go. Then this side is just x. And now we have a triangle with sides x, y, z and height one fourth. Interesting. We can actually do this for the other equations, so y would be in the bottom for this one, the height would be a fifth this time, and then we have our two sides, and uh, the sides don't actually matter, x and, y, x and z could be swapped. Same for the third equation, this height is a sixth, down to side z, and now we've transformed three, these three equations into three triangles. Or are they three triangles? They all have the same side lengths. So this is actually the same triangle. We just now know the length of each altitude. So we draw a triangle. I guess we can put X on the bottom. And we know the length of all three altitude. So this one's a quarter and this one is fifth and this one is a sixth. So we've transformed this seemingly completely algebraic problem into a geometry problem. Now we want the perimeter of this triangle. Okay. So altitudes, first I think area with altitudes. So the area, we can actually use a half base height where x is the base, or y could be the base, or z could be the base. And right here, if we multiply by two, we have a linear uh, linear equations that tell us the ratio between x, y, and z. So let's clean this up. Multiply by 60. 15x equals 12y equals 10z. That's really useful. So now we know the ratios between x, y, and z. So let's actually just solve for one of them in terms of Let's say x, whoopsie, 
So x is x, y is 5 fourths x, z is 3 halves x. Okay, very useful. Now, the last thing to do, we're going to use Heron's formula to find the area and then set it equal to, say, in term, area in terms of x. So, area is equal to half base height, but it's also equal to, by Heron's formula, s, s minus x, s minus y, s minus z, where s is the semi-perimeter. Okay, if we can find s in terms of just x, we can solve for x in this equation right here. So let's do that. x, we know y to be 5 fourths x, and z to be 3 halves x. Okay, let's simplify this a little bit. I'll put everything over 8, 10 eighths, 12 eighths. Okay, that should give 30 eighths times a half x, which is just 15 eighths x. So that's the semi-perimeter. Let's plug that into our equation over here. The left is x over eight. The right is square root of 15 eighths x. And then 15 eighths minus one is seven eighths x. Okay, 15 eighths minus 5 fourths, 15 eighths minus 10 eighths is 5 eighths x. And then 15 eighths minus 3 halves, well 3 halves is 12 eighths, so we're left with 3 eighths x. And now we just solve for x, so let's bring, we can bring an x squared, 8 squared, out of the radical. And we can also bring 15 out of the radical. And we're left with the seven. Okay, cancel some eights. We're allowed to cancel x because x equals zero is a degenerate case. And now bring everything to the other side. X is eight over 15 root seven. Okay, what did we want? We wanted the perimeter x plus y plus z. That's twice the semi-perimeter. And we calculated the semi-perimeter to be 18, sorry, 15 over eight times x. And we know what x is, so x is eight over 15 root seven. Cancel 15s to two over root seven. That means m plus n is nine and we're done.